Hello everybody, welcome back to Morrowind. It's me, Kay. We're back here at the Corpusarium entrance with Delta Fear. We're going to talk to her for a moment about the Corpusarium. This is not the Corpusarium. The Corpusarium is in the caverns down below the tower. Just keep going down. You'll want to speak with Upsafir or Vistakai. They attend to the needs of Corpusarium inmates, victims of the Corpus disease. If you go down there, be careful. Many Corpus victims are completely mad and quite violent. Okay. Let's head down then. And here is Vistakai. I am Vistakai, Warden of the Corpusarium. I am here to warn you, do not harm the inmates. If you come to plunder the dungeon, you must endure their attacks and take your chances with me, their warden and protector. Okay. And he's a knight. Okay. Lord Fear shelters and maintains the victims of Corpus disease here in the Corpusarium. He does them a great service because no other could or would help them. He also does the world a great service by keeping them here where they can do no harm to others. The inmates are sad, distorted monsters, angry and cruel, and their sufferings are great, but they still live and feel, and I honor Lord Fear's care and compassion for them. Endure their attacks. Do not harm the inmates. I will not tolerate you adding to their suffering. Indeed, they are brutal and ferocious, and they will kill you if they can, but you are their guest, and you may not harm them, or you will answer to me. Plunder the dungeon. For his own amusement, Diveth Fear permits thieves to test their skills by attempting to steal the treasures he keeps below in the Corpusarium. The dangers are fearful, the inmates are savage, and they carry the most terrible disease on Tamriel. The treasures themselves are guarded by traps and terrors. And the guards, myself chief among them, will take great delight in trying to kill you. Those are the rules. Abide by them or leave. Okay. Yep, that is a corpus beast. Yes. Okay, so we need to just go. We have an option here, however. I have a little item around here somewhere. Pretty sure. Don't I? Don't I have a ring that does some invisibility? Ring of shadow form, ring of surroundings. Those help. But I do also have a way to get invisible, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead and ring of surroundings myself. And there's also the... Let's see here. I got a few potions for it, too. Uh, I'm not going to use the potion. Actually, I'll just use invisibility potion for 60 seconds. This is one of the reasons I've been hanging on to them. Okay, so I'm invisible. Corpus, won't, Corpus stalkers won't attack me. I am going to use the gamulet so that you can see what the hell's going on down here. I got 60 seconds of total invisibility. Okay, lock level 100. Trapped. Great. We do want to rob this place. We are participating in that little challenge. We have his 637th and his 1008th keys. And the 637th opened it. Here's the 678th key. And an ornate Dwimmer goblet that we don't want. Okay, Corpusarium bowels. We don't want to go down there yet. We don't want the bowels yet. Oh, I opened something, so now they're mad at me. Okay, that one's still locked. That's no good. We're going to endure his attacks. Okay, so that's not what we need. These keys open chests in a sequential order. We just want to avoid getting murked by corpus people. Yep, there we go. Dodge him. There's some big-ass chests down here, and we can open them with the right stuff. Old gate. Hi. Is this the right one? Nope. Not the right one. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Goodbye. I contracted Black Heart Blight. No, I didn't actually, because I'm immune to all diseases, so I did not contract Black Heart Blight. There's the Guar Skin Drum. I want that. There's the one we needed. Here's his 738th key and two Dwimmer coins, which we'll take, because those are pretty good. Anything down here? Another chest, perhaps? No, it does not seem to be. I want that Guar Skin drum for something else. I'll explain in a little bit. No chests here? Okay. Now we go back, checking chests that we've already done, but didn't open for us. Oh, there's a skeletal corpse here with six gold on him and an iron warhammer that I don't care about. 
That's fine. Get out of my way, please. There we go. Dive out's 800 and second key. Let's see here. Yeah, keep going. Out of my way, please. Thank you. We already got that one. There's another one up here, though, wasn't there? No, not this way. That way. Yes. Right there. Boom. Dive, that's 897th key. There's another door down here, wasn't there? Right through here. Uh, yes. Corpusarian bowels. Okay. Excuse me. What you got? You got bone meal. Iron spear I don't care about, but I do care about gold. Okay. Hi. You're new here, aren't you? My name is Upsa. Upsa Fear. I take care of the corpus victims in the Corpusarium. Yeah, let's see here. The Corpusarium is just one of Devothfear's many projects. Our mission here is partly humanitarian, partly research. He has been searching for a cure to corpus disease for a long time. A very long time. But in the meantime, we care for the corpus victims as best we can. The world outside is very cruel to corpus sufferers. They are much better off here with us. Those victims. Don't like me enough to tell me about that, huh? Okay. Uh, let's see, we know about that. Okay, let me bribe you a hundred gold. And another hundred gold. Okay. Be careful if you're going to prowl around here. We will be very angry if you hurt any of our patients. And our patients can be quite a handful, I'll tell you. Strong as an ogrim and twice as mean. But they seem to like it when I play the drum. Quiets them down. There's a drum around here somewhere. They wander off with it sometimes. But find that drum and bring it to me, and I think I can calm them down for a while. Let's see here. Calm the corpus victims with soothing drum rhythms if you bring me the Gwaskin drum. I have it. Yes, that Gwaskin drum will do perfectly. I'll take it and play a little soothing rhythm, and I think that will pacify the poor corpus victims so they won't be so savage and aggressive. Okay, so you'll notice now. They're just kind of chill now. They're chilling out. Don't have the key to that one yet. This is a dwarf. And he actually has a voice, so let me get ready for it. You're here for the Dwimmer Boots. Tell my gracious keeper that I have done what I could. Only a Dwimmer Mage Crafter could have done so much. But only idiots could have created these boots. It shames my race that we must be judged by the works of such lackwit blunderers. Uh, your race? Once I was a master crafter in the service of Lord Kagranak, chief architect of the great Second Empire Freeholds, and the greatest enchanter of his time. I could not match the genius of Lord Kagranak, but what he could envision I and my colleagues could build. All of that is gone forever. I still retain my cunning, but my hands and eyes fail me, and my memories have long faded. My only consolation is each day to mock the gods who destroyed my race and condemned me to this bleak existence. Bleak existence. Since the disappearance of the dwarves, I have been alone in this world, trapped in this grim prison. I can scarcely move, and my fellow inmates are scarcely good company. The risk of corpus disease deters most visitors. But if you meet with cultivated minds undaunted by the terrors of the Corpusarium, you might mention your recent interview with the last living dwarf. This is how I style myself. I do not know for a fact that I am the last, but in my travels thousands of years ago, I never encountered another. And since I have been here, I often ask Lord Fear, but he says he has never heard a credible rumor of another Dwimmer on Tamriel or in any outer realm. So let's ask him about the disappearance of the dwarves. Finally, somebody who knows. Hmm. I cannot say what happened. I was not there to observe. I was in an outer realm at the time, and when I came back, my people were gone. 
I left Red Mountain, wandering Tamriel for years, searching our deserted colonies, looking for a survivor or an explanation. Then a long, long time ago, I returned to Red Mountain, still looking for answers. Instead, I found corpus disease, and I have been here ever since. I have theories, if you are interested. I am interested. Lord Kagranak, the foremost arcane philosopher and mage crafter of my era, devised tools to shape mythopoetic forces, intending to transcend the limits of Dwemer mortality. However, in reviewing his formulae, some logicians argued that side effects were unpredictable and errors might be catastrophic. I think Kagranak might have succeeded in granting our race eternal life with unforeseen consequences, such as wholesale displacement to an outer realm, or he may have erred and utterly destroyed our race. Fascinating. Let's ask about the Dwimmer Boots. Lord Fear obtained these enchanted Dwimmer Boots from an unfortunate thief, and given the quality of their craftsmanship, little wonder the fellow came to a bad end, but I can do nothing for them. The fundamental enchantment is flawed. Might as well start all over again, if such a pair of boots could still be fashioned in these benighted latter days. But I have done my best. Take them to Lord Fear with my sincere apologies. Your gracious keeper. I owe my life to Lord Fear. He took me in when I was a mad monster, out of my mind. In time I emerged from my dementia and I am now quite lucid most of the time. Though my body is still a grotesque and useless prison, and I still have some feeble hope of a cure. Lord Fear has tried many spells and potions. None have helped me, but neither have they harmed me. If anyone can cure this disease, Lord Fear can. Well, we've asked about everything we can. Well, we haven't asked... Yeah, we have asked about my race. So, yeah, we've asked him about everything. That's all he knows right now. He is quite sick with corpus and all bloated and horrible. He rides around on a little spider toilet, I guess. Which is interesting. But right now, the place is calm. This is our chance to be cracking open stuff. Also, we can take that Tamrielic lore book. Nope, can't do that. Okay. Let me just, uh... I screwed up massively there. Sorry, I thought I could take that. Hang on. Wait, I don't have to, to give up yet, though. I'm just out. I'll just run away real quick. Because they will calm their titties pretty shortly. I just wanted that book for later. Well, sorry, I made, made her mad, but the Corpus Beast won't attack me at least. She will attack me right now. She'll calm down later, it's fine. Oh, almost made it, damn. Yeah, see, they're nice and chill here. Let's see, is there any kind of chest in here though? You make the jump that way, at least at my level. That's kind of cool. Uh, here is more Corpusarium. There's something in that locked level 1000 chest, but do I have the right key? I don't know. Yeah, Jagger and Bagarin's just babbling about Dwimmer stuff that I can't comprehend. Okay, so that lady is mean, and she hates my ass. I'm gonna go back in here. Corpus Beasts? Pretty chill, as you can see. So that's good. Pretty chill. I thought I had the right key to unlock that. I apparently do not, though. Taking that book really irked them, though. Damn, I did not expect that. Okay, so there's another exit from the Corpusarium Bowels over there. Let me see if I can't gamulet up for your help here. Uh, I do believe I have a Calm Humanoid spell, don't I? That's Command Humanoid. Can I calm motherfuckers down? 
Palm creature. No, not not creature. Just humanoids, huh? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to need to open this damn thing while she is mad at me. So that will make for an interesting challenge. Oh, she's, she's just goofing around there. I don't know what her deal is. Oh, she's coming. I'd rather not die, lady. Hey, I'm sorry. Can't I just apologize? Damn. I'm sorry about that. Okay, trap disarmed. Cool. Now we need security replacer, but I need to drink a potion first. We're doing this the complex but fun way. Oh, got to loop around you again. She's going to play that drum using my head if I'm not careful. Damn, she's mad. I didn't think picking up that book would make her mad. Picking up stuff in the in this dungeon doesn't generally bother anybody. That book. Oh boy. Failed casting the spell. Unfortunate. That is fine, however. I can easily get another go at it with another potion. Oh, there she is. Oh, Yagrim Bagarn's trying to shove me. Why are you trying to hit me, Yagrim? Nope, failed casting the spell. I didn't know I made Yagrim mad, too. Damn. Hang on. I might have to reload, actually, but I'm going to see what's in here just in case. There we go. It is Volendrung and the Dwimmer coin. Okay, so I don't care. Volendrung's nice and all, but I will reload real quick. Okay, so now that we know what to do, what is here's how you speedrun this shit. Don't take his damn book, first of all. That's apparently a bad choice. I guess that belonged to Yagrim Bagarn specifically, so maybe that counted as being owned. Where's my gamulet? There it is. Okay. Yeah, I know. I talked to you. I know the rules. I uh, need the Guar Skin Drum, first of all, which is over here. Around here somewhere. Was it in here that they had it? No, that's just one of the chests. Okay. Vroom. Vroom. There's the Guar Skin Drum. Okay, got it. Got the Guar Skin Drum. Let's go around. Yes. Voided. Okay, let's do this without ticking off uh, Yagrim Bagarn, because we do need him. He's important to the to the whole game as the last living dwarf. He's also the back door to beating the game if you uh, kill any other, like, story essential NPC. You can use him to beat the game as well. Sort of an alternate pathway. Okay, so we just go straight ahead then. Oh, that was the one I missed. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so there's our first key. We got that. Where is the damn way out of here? Back into the proper corpusarium. Okay, I can jump to there. And that can take me successfully into the lower levels, right? No, not good. Okay. That's what I need, though. I need that key. Uh, is there a key in here that I need? Might be this one. Can't remember. Nope, didn't need that one yet. It's the one underwater, isn't it? Let's just uh, keep looking here. I think there's some other stuff down here, potentially. Let's go in here and get her to play the drum, though, because that will help us out a lot. That's unlocked. Okay. This is the Corpusarium Bowels, right? Wait, where's the... Hang on. How did I get lost? It's the Corpusarium Bowels. Yeah, we want to be in here because we want to play the drum. Where is she? I've confused myself. How did I do this perfectly fine last time, and now the second time I'm doing it in the same span of time, I've completely dicked it up? What the hell is going on here? Oh, there it is. Okay, it's this way to it. Okay, yes, please. Please have conversation. Please, thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, I need to bribe you, like, 
couple hundred gold. There you go. Corpus victims. Corpus victims. Squar skin drum. Okay. There we go. Yagan Bagarn. Disprince Dwarves. Dwarven Boots. Grish Keeper. My race. Theories. It's bleak existence. Last living dwarf. Okay, we've talked to you about everything we need to talk to you about. Good. Okay, we're fine now. Things are fine now. <laughs> Everything's better. Yeah, so they don't they don't want to fight me now. They're just wandering around doing their thing. They are an elf, you can see. See their pointy little ears, so they are some sort of elf. Okay, so back up here. I gotta go down here, get the one that's in the water. Now things are much safer. They've all calmed the hell down. Yeah, there you are, okay. Yeah, this way to the one I need. Uh, was it actually this one first? No, okay. Hi, excuse me. It's down here, yep. That's the one I want, okay. Now is it this one? Yep. Got it. Okay, got your key. Dilith Fear has a lot of keys, man. A lot of keys. We missed one at some point, though. Oh, is that it? Something back here? Maybe? There might be a key, a uh, chest hidden in here that we didn't get. Because we didn't have all the keys to get into Volendrung's chest, which is the treasure here. That's what I thought was going to be the case. We've gotten, like, two different major one-of-a-kind artifacts from here, by the by, which is cool. Okay, so it's one of the ones back here now. This is quite dangerous when you're at a low level trying to do this, and the corpus guys can, like, two-shot you. It gets quite scary. That one's unlocked. Okay, so it's up here. It's the one? No. Up here. It's the one I'm missing. Yeah. So grab this chest here. Yes. 897th key. Good. Excuse me, sir. Back there's nothing. Okay, so now we gotta find one more chest that we just missed somewhere. We don't have all the keys yet. Is there anything up there? No. Okay. Alright, so let's... Let's gamma up again. Thank you. Okay, where's that other damn chest? Hidden around there? No. It's probably over here with the water stuff. We did get this one, right? This one we looted. Yeah, that's unlocked. Okay. This was originally going to be a bigger dungeon and have, like, guards and stuff that would attack you on sight. But they just kind of changed things for it. It became very different. I don't know, must have been cut for time or something. The game is huge, after all, so... I know there's one more chest, because I need the 999th key or something to get into the thing that has Volendron. Maybe it's in this room. I feel like there should be something back here, you know? Might be in the bowels, too. Oh, well, I'm not worried about it right now. I'll just grab it as normal, I suppose. Oh, yeah, you guys have stuff, don't you? Yeah, you got a little golden bone meal I'll take with me. Nothing really there. Okay, let's head into the Corpusarium Bowels. There might be a chest down here. I know there's at least one, so... Give me your gold and your bone meal, skeletal corpse. What is that weapon you have there? Iron spear, not very interesting. Oh, there's one. Oh, I already got that one. Damn. Okay. Uh. Oh, yeah, that's just down there. Right. Oh, yeah, because you can loop around and end up in the bowels here. I forgot about that. Hmm. Just give him one last quick look around for any chests. Because the stuff here is pretty legit. Uh, no? Okay. Can we open it? No. Can't open it. Alright, fine. Can't open that either. Is there another thing hidden out here anywhere? No, but we did get the boots, didn't we? 
We got our boots. We have our boots of flying, yeah. Alright then, I guess we'll head back. It might be actually out of the Corpusarium too. These things are scattered all over the damn place. That it's tangled up on the terrain there. Okay, let's head up here. Talk to Divith Fear again. It's through the upstairs thing. Right? Yeah, Hall of Fear. There we go. Okay. Need to levitate. Oh, let me just let's see if I can't use the dwar Dwimmer Boots of Flying, actually. We got them. Why not? There. That's a convenient way to get up there. And now we re equip our. I am wearing my, uh, yeah, Cure Savior's Hide so I can resist Magicka, so I can just apply the Boots of Blinding Speed whenever I like, because I have more than 100% resist Magicka. Yeah, I have like 110%, so we're pretty good. Hello. Well, did you get my boots? No boots, no potion. The boots first, please. And now I'll give you the potion on the following condition. You must drink it here before my eyes. It should act immediately, and I need to observe you very carefully. Agreed? Yes, give me the potion. Good. Open your mouth and close your eyes. Good. Now swallow. Goodness. Good grief. Look. Look, it's working. Remarkable. Let me check your skin. Your eyes... Your tongue. Amazing, I think it worked. No sign of the disease at all. Of course, you still have corpus disease just like I planned, but all your symptoms are gone. Marvelous. I'll go try it out on some of the more desperate inmates, but I'll answer any questions you have before I go. Okay, uh... See? No more symptoms. Amazing. A bit surprised myself. The dungeon, uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's stuff we already know. Potion. It worked, didn't it? Remarkable. Perhaps it will work on the other inmates. I have to proceed carefully, of course. You may be an exceptional case. Uh, Vista Kai the Argonian is my warden of the Corpusarium. Quite a fighter, tough as nails. Self-taught. Works out with my daughters, who are no slouches of the martial arts themselves. Vista Kai was one of the last of my slaves. Freed him and he wouldn't leave. Kept him on as a hireling, then made him my partner. Excellent fellow, fine companion. Not an intellectual, you understand, but good company for me and my daughters. Okay. <laughs> so, no more corpus disease. However, we do have immunity to corpus disease, immunity to blight disease, and immunity to common disease forever. We can't get diseased anymore. We can lower our resistance if we need a disease for some reason. There are a couple cases where you do. But uh, we're good. We're immune to disease forever. Let's save. You just take that gold? Nope. Doesn't like that. This is why I saved. He's very fickle about what you can take. But you can try to pickpocket him. You can take his Dive of the Fear's key. Nope. Doesn't like that one. I do want to pickpocket him, though. Perhaps a little later. Because that key is very important. That key gets the third legendary artifact that's just laying around in here. It's in that small ornate lockbox right there. You know, he didn't care about us picking the lock on that, though. We could try to pick the lock on this. Let's see if we can't uh, do that. Does that piss him off? I don't know. Is very, very fickle about what he does and doesn't let you touch. Which is awkward, isn't it? It's hard to understand what you can, can and can't do, which is a problem. Okay, disarm that. Uh, he didn't give a damn. Alright. What is my security skill right now? Security is 34. That ain't gonna get no hundred. That ain't gonna do no hundo, sadly. But yeah, I'm totally free of corpus forever. That's great. 
that potion does work on me. If you come back and talk to him later, he'll note that it just kills everybody else he tries it on. So, it only worked on us, which is interesting, isn't it? Only we got that. That does fulfill a, a Nerevarine prophecy now. Uh, neither disease nor age can harm me. I will never die of old age, and I can't contract any diseases. I'm a little bit immortal. So we're knocking out prophecy steps here left and right today. Security replacer is what I need, but I need to chug one more. Okay, 81% chance. Blammo! Dive us 1155th key. Okay, one more coins. And the Daedric Sanctuary Amulet. That's interesting. I wonder what that is. I know what it is, but if you don't know, you may wonder what that is. What is a Daedric Sanctuary Amulet? His key would have opened that, by the way. Let's put it on. Uh, hmm. Well, we're wearing the amulet. Aren't we? Yeah. Can we cast it? Can we do anything with it? Very odd. Daedric Sanctuary Amulet. I thought I did know what this did. Maybe I don't. Is it in my artifacts? Is it magical? It might be treated as magical. It is not. Hmm. I got it, though. I also got his other key, which probably was the one I needed. Is there something you need? May you find me worthy. Can't ask him about it? No. Can't ask about the Dwimmer piece. <laughs> He's just, just like, thanks. Like, yeah, thanks, you dick. All right, well, we're going to wear that for a little bit because I want to see what it will do. I think I need to do a couple other things in order to make it work, maybe. But it is an interesting little, little toy that we'll get a little bit of use out of briefly. I could kill that girl. Those boots are ruined. Head back down here and open the Volendrum chest now that I've got Devith's last key. Ow, my jaw popped. I hope that didn't come across on the recording. That was really loud and it hurt a lot. Ouch. Not not pleasant. Suboptimal. What do you have anyway? Oh yeah, you're that guy. You're not an important guy. I got enough damn keys at this point. Yes, there we go. 50 Dwimmer coins, which is worth a lot of gold. And the mace Volendrung, which is an excellent unenchanted mace. One of the nicest in the game, in fact. And it has a unique appearance, too. I shall equip it and show you what it looks like. Very cool. Huh. So Volendrung will be nice later. We will enchant something nasty onto there. Take it off for now. I want my Stamilf ring on, and I want my Gamu Gamulet on. There we go. Still got my Stamilf? Yep. Good. Good, good. Okay. Let's get out of here. We'll come back and look at that a little later. But yeah, we're, uh, we're good now. No more disease problems for the rest of the game. That's fun. That means I don't need to carry around uh, disease-curing stuff. No, I'm not taking you anywhere. I don't have that quest. I don't know what that even is for. All right. Out we go. They're safely out of Telfir, a mad wizard's tower. That's a fun little diversion, though. Let's get back to Daddy Caius here and tell him all about what we found. How about a amulet of Omsivi intervention? Bloop. Where'd that take us? Molagmar, no problem. That works out for us, because we can go from Molagmar, take a boat ride, I think, to Balmora, or a boat ride to, like, Sedanine or Vivek, and then get a warp to Balmora. There's a Silt Strider here, so we don't need to worry about boat ride then. Okay. And that's how you manage to navigate that down. 
That was pretty good. I'm proud of that one. Didn't take any fall damage, basically jumping off way high up. That would have hurt. Ah, there you are. I can sure talk to people now, because no... No corpus for me. I Technically, I have corpus, just none of the bad effects. Balmora. Oh, Caius, let's get going. I'll use my uh, Daedric Sanctuary amulet in a later episode. That will be a fun little bonus thing to do. My pleasure, Chetel Solver, thank you for your report. I'm very happy you've been cured. Unfortunately, I have a bit of bad news. I've been recalled to the Imperial City. You'll be promoted to operative and will lead the blades here in Vardenfell until I return. I only waited here to give you your final orders before I go. Okay, so that's unfortunate. Caius is leaving. Let's see here. Recalled. Internal politics. Some concern about my sugar. I thought about refusing the recall, but they have members of my family back in the capital. I'm afraid it may have something to do with the problems with the secession. As the Emperor's health declines, factions are maneuvering for advantage. I may be gone a while. That's why you're promoted to operative. That makes you the ranking Blades agent here in the Vardenfell district, as far as I know. There may be other Blades agents here I don't know about. It wouldn't surprise me. I may be gone a while and you'll have expenses. Here's some gold. And you can use the house until I return. I won't be needing these blacks or the ring while I'm in Cyrodiil. Maybe they'll come in handy. Take good care of them. So we got Caius's black pants, Caius's black shirt, and Caius's ring. Uh, what else do we have to talk about? Head the Blades. There's nothing to it. Each agent has his own assignment, reports directly to Cyrodiil. You're promoted to operative mostly to preserve your independence. You're no, you're no fool. The days of the Empire are almost over. When the Emperor dies, nine hells are going to break loose. Forget about the Imperial City. Think locally. Worry about the Sixth House and Dagoth Ur, and squabbles between the Great Houses and the colonists. The rest of the political nonsense doesn't amount to a plate of scuttle. Final orders, huh? Continue pursuing the Nerevrine prophecies as the Emperor commands. First, go to the Hall of Wisdom and Justice and get Mera Milo to help you find the Lost Prophecies. She's being watched. If something has gone wrong, find her private quarters. She'll leave you a message there under the code word Amaya. Then take the Lost Prophecies to Nabani Maesa. From that point, you'll have to follow her directions and follow the prophecies. Good luck. Alright. So if we exit and come back, Caius is gone. We won't see him again. But he did leave us a lot of nice stuff. Bunch of probes and picks. Test, uh, test of our skills to get in this chest. Let's go ahead and knock that out with a little lock pick. Should be easy. There we go. A little bit of gold for us. We got a bed we can sleep in here. We got books. We got a good skooma pipe. Some moon sugar. Or the first council will take. Take his salt rice. There's a much tougher chest. There's his shirt that he never seemed to wear. Speaking of shirt, he left us his blacks. That would be his black pants, his black shirt, and his ring. The ring is cast when used 30 seconds of fortify luck and security. That's amazing. Fortify sneak on his shirt. That's amazing. And fortify our chameleon 20% for 30 seconds on his pants. Also amazing. We're going to equip all that now. Minus the ring, because we don't need that right now. But yeah, we'll just be wearing those. That's fine. We didn't have a shirt or pants on anyway. They are just a nice black outfit, too. If I took off my stuff, you could see it well, but I'm not going to right now. Let's untrap this chest. See what he's got in here for us. We got all the diffus keys. Trap disarmed. We could fortify our security 20 points if we wanted, but I'm just going to blast through it with a spell anyway, in this particular case. Spell of Security Replacer. All right. Blammo, we're in. He's got Restore Health Potion, Rising Force Potion, 100 gold. Apprentice Mortar Pestle, Gracious Soul Gym, and some more Moon Sugar. 
Oh, he has a sword, too. Imperial short sword. It's probably his weapon of choice. All right. Yeah. Looking through the wall there. Sorry. I need to... Re-equip this bad boy here. All right. Let's repair since we've got some tools to repair that are just weighing us down. And you. Okay. Armor leveled up. Good. What's that put us at? Mm, four out of ten. And our stat stuff. Uh, yeah, well, we can't really raise endurance anymore. We can still raise some strength. It'll go up to 120 because we're wearing Fortify 20 from the Fist of Randagulf. Yeah, left Fist of Randagulf. Our right Fist of Randagulf is giving us 20 strength. Okay. We also have a little damage to our stats, so I need to cast Restore All Attributes, please. Wait, why are you not working right? How do I have 69, not 70? What the heck? Let me take my boots off real quick, because I might not be able to restore while I'm fortified past that point. That might be the problem. So I think I have lost a little bit of the spid. Uh, where are my damn boots? There they are. Okay, now we have 70. Okay, so I'll put my speed boots back on. 270, there we go. Just a little wonky there for a minute. We're good now. All right, back to base camp. Council Club, where we kind of keep all our stuff right now. Mostly maintenance stuff I need to do now for the rest of this episode. That item will not fit. It's not going to fit in there either, is it? No, we'll just stick some stuff in some of these. Maybe there we go. Uh, yeah, let's drop off the little trinkets here. Okay. More space, please, for things. Slowly recovering our tremendous carrying capacity again. go. Uh, what else do we want? I'll drop off all our books. Not the Book of Rest and Endings. We've read that. If Vulcan 1, I believe we have a copy of. Yes. Frontier Conquest. I already have a copy of it. Okay. I just want to take one out. Thank you. There we go. Grasping Fortune we don't have. No. Uh, drop this hammer off as well, please. Grasping Fortune, we didn't have. Uh, Halgard's Tale, we have, we've read. Lives of the Saints, didn't have it. Message from Dagoth Ur, I'll keep. I'll keep my prophecies. I'm gonna need them later, maybe. So are you any sermons we had? Okay. We got the Affairs of Wizards, we have. I'm gonna read that today, since we just did Telvanni stuff. Constellations of Prayer, did not have. Eastern Provinces, we had, okay. It's faster to do it this way than it is to check manually. The Lunar Lorcan, did not have, okay. True Noble's Code, didn't have, interesting. Vagaries of Magicka, we do have. Okay, War of the First Council, didn't have. Varieties of Faith did have. All right. Oh, we never did bust this open, did we? Well, you know what? Let's just take a little rest, get our Magicka back, and crack this sucker wide open, huh? Finally gonna get in this thing. Boom. At last, it's got some armor in it. Some steel armor stuff. Ain't nothing special. 
If I had always wondered what was in there, now I know. Some armor that I don't want. Well, let's go sell these excess books. Keep the copy of the one we're reading. Uh, yeah, I got some stuff to sell you, lady. How about I sell you... Not the Daedric Sanctuary. I mean, that's for damn sure. Uh, this poison resist potion. Don't want it. Don't need the cure poison potions, really. I can do that pretty easily. Uh, I do want cure... I don't need this many cure common disease potions, probably. Uh, that's cure blight disease. I will... I will hang on to those, because sometimes quests need those. Spoiled slow fall, don't care. Light potion's fine in a pinch. Okay, those are all good. Sell so, Book of Rest and Endings, Fake Falcon 1, Frontier Conquest, Halgard's Tale, Saryoni Sermons. Sell so, a copy of the Affairs of Wizards. There's Magicka, Ride of Faith. Some provinces and pig children. I'll even give you a discount of three gold off there. Thank you. What's our inventory looking like? Getting better. Getting better. Well, those fists of Randigal sure help a lot. <clears throat> Do you buy scrolls? You'll buy scrolls. Cool. Okay. Uh, what do I want to sell you in the way of scrolls? I like lock splitters. I like elemental bursts. Don't care about flame guard. Gym feeders are fine. That's fine. Hellfire is good. His breath is pretty good. Invisibility is great. Purity of body. That is a fast restore health, so I'll keep that. Prince Ov's Bright Balls. Yeah. Keep the Undusi. His instigator is handy. Savage Might is pretty handy. His Porphyry. Yeah. Some flame. Summon anything is good. Blessings are good. Hand of Heaven. Yeah. Okay, I'll keep all those. Those are cool. Uh, don't have a lot else to sell. Oh, I do want to sell Dwimmer coins, don't I? Let's sell a couple of them to you. You got 800? Okay. How's that? That's, I can sell more than that. Hang on. Offer those. Sell you some more Dwimmer coins. Sell probably like four more. What, are you, what is the matter with you? There we go. Maybe five. Yep. Okay. Wait, was that potion that I just clicked on? What happened? Oh, I bought a potion. Yeah, I don't want that. Thanks. Those are the shitty potions I made to sell you. There we go. All right, we're down to 444 weight. Revere will probably buy some as well. I'll sell you some Dwemer coins. Let's go for maybe 13. Let's go for a few more than that. Let's go for like four more. Okay. I can get a couple more out of you. Three. Yeah, that'll do. One more will do. Okay, there we go. And... Meldor here's got some stuff I can sell. Uh, what do you got, Meldor? I can... What can I get you? I can get you these bone mold bracers. Don't need them. At bone mold pauldron. Bone mold greaves. Yeah, don't want any of that. Will you buy Dwimmer coins? No. Okay, that's fine then. You can get that. That trimmed it down a little bit. Good, like, 31 weight lost there. And you place. Okay, so we're good for now. I had no business with you, my dude. Don't want to do nothing with you. Let's head on inside and read our book and call it here. Slightly shorter episode, but important stuff happened. 
I don't want to start a bunch of story stuff right now. So let's read our book, The Affairs of Wizards. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Take a drink. The Affairs of Wizards by Teredis Talanian in the service of Master Arion. Want to become part of House Telvanni? Outsiders learning of the rabid isolationist and outlander-hating temperament of House Telvanni wizards often assume it would be impossible to obtain positions in service to House Telvanni. Nothing could be further from the truth. For example, since the Telvanni vigorously defend the right to own slaves, and since they keep many Argonian and Khajiita slaves, many Argonians and Khajiit assume they would not be accepted for service within House Telvanni. Not true. Telvanni accepts all races as candidates for membership. And, since the Telvanni are ruled by wizard lord nobles, many assume that they accept only candidates of the highest intelligence and willpower. Not true. Telvanni accept candidates of modest intelligence and willpower. It is true that advancement in Telvanni ranks depends on high intelligence and willpower, and that candidates proficient in the arts of magic, especially mysticism, conjuration, illusion, alteration, destruction, and enchanting, can expect to advance faster and higher in the ranks. But adventurers of all races and abilities who apply to Telvanni Mouths at the Telvanni Council Hall in Sadrith Mora for acceptance in House Telvanni can expect a cordial welcome. Telvanni Councilors do not serve on their House Councils in person. Instead, they are represented by a Mouth, a trusted subordinate in residence at the Council Hall, acting on his patron's behalf, receiving messengers for their patrons, and casting their patrons' votes in Council Affairs. The truth is that House Telvanni Wizard Lords depend on loyal, well-paid, skilled retainers for most services. Though House Telvanni does recruit from their own lower classes, they must go outside their house to hire the craftsmen and specialists they need. And since, for political reasons, House Telvanni has chosen to reduce its reliance on Redoran mercenaries for protection and security, it has been forced to turn to Western mercenaries for guards and agents. Promotion in the ranks of House Telvanni, however, is very difficult for outsiders. Most disconcerting for some potential candidates is House Telvanni's casual acceptance of murder and assassination of rivals as a means to advancement. Those reluctant to prove their worthiness by killing off the competition, and those uncomfortable about competing in such a ruthless atmosphere, might better employ their time and efforts in the Mage's Guild. So that's a fun look into how House Telvanni works. And yeah, if you want to get promoted in House Telvanni, you can just kill your superiors and, and promote yourself, because you're now the only person with promotion powers at that tier. It's quite possible to do. It's weird, but you can do it. I'm going to recharge my Magicka. And that's going to be it for this episode, as always. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time when we continue the Morrowind plot. Bye-bye for now, everybody. <laughs>